the NFL was my life, it was my identity, and, and as I got done, I, I was, I was, I didn't know who I was without the game. Right. And it led to a, a really bad coping of pain pill addiction. And like so many of these, these warriors that come home, I mean, you know, again, not only did the fact that they may have lost limbs or have significant injuries, but they can geographically come home, but are they really home? And, you know, my belief is like, you can give a veteran a job. You can give them a house. These are good things. If you treat a veteran broken, they act broken. You know, if you look them in their eyes, you tell them, hey, look, the same skill set that made you extraordinary in country make you extraordinary here, they come to life. start to sweat together and you start to suffer in the, in the constructs of the gym with it which is pain for purpose right uh, one you begin to kind of go oh I guess civilians can put out or maybe this veteran actually has a little heart and compassion and he's not just about you know rah rah and you know blowing right. stuff up so the veteran learns that they're not far from reintegrating as a result of being around re reintegrating into society as, as a fact of being around the civilian and the civilian sees what teamwork and grit and this sort of no quit attitude once we get it pulled out. So many times where I find great joy to see a civilian and a veteran exchanging numbers. Yeah, uh, that's right. what I was going to ask you. Yep. Yes. That's... And, and hanging out and then learning yeah. about the other. And, and there's, there's, just, there's just so much synergy. It's very cool. My football career ultimately gave way and gave an opportunity to do what I'm doing now, which is 100% my most fulfilling work. It's over 10 million Americans with a physical disability in this country. It gives me such joy to give them away and be the conduit to hopefully get them to realize that they can achieve probably more than they ever thought they could if they're willing to step into their fear and their uncertainty.